Yo guys, this is a huge warning to anybody drop shipping right now. And this one mistake led my $2,000 a day turn into $0 overnight. So I'm going to show you how to avoid selling products that have a patent on it and how to avoid selling copyrighted photos. So you don't lose your business overnight like I did and join that Facebook fam. If you didn't already, we only drop advanced content in the feed. The link is in the description down below. So get in there. Let's go. What's up guys, it's Lord Ecom. And last year I went from $2,000 a day to $0 overnight. And this happened because I was selling a patented product and I had no clue about it. So basically what happened is I was using ads that another company made and I started running those ads on Facebook for a product I was selling. The company copyrighted the pictures and they patented the product that I was selling beforehand. I didn't know this at the time. And I guess the CEO got the memo or noticed that I was using their ads and selling their copyrighted product. A patent on a product means that you have exclusive and commercial rights to the product and the invention of it, which means I can't sell your product unless you give me permission to. I didn't have that permission. So after they noticed I was using their content, they writ oh, oh, oh. They writ up an official cease and desist letter and they sent it to both me and Shopify. This cease and desist letter was written up by an official lawyer. It was legit and Shopify made me remove the patented products overnight, literally within 24 hours, along with all the copyrighted photos that I had on my website. That was a heartbreak, dude, because I put a lot of work into that and ah. Uh, uh, this means that I had to go and remove my winning product from my store, shut down all of my Facebook ads. And this was right when I finally got them working exceptionally well. This is why my sales went from $2,000 a day to zero overnight. And it really can happen to you too. So listen up, I'm going to tell you the precautions that you need to take. But before we do that, this is the product I was selling and the part that was patented is these three little stripes on the leggings you could see right here. That's the part of the product they patented. And the company was Bombshell Sportswear. They were the company who patented these products, copyrighted these photos. I was actually using this photo as an ad and I just removed their little watermark over here where it says the B for the bombshell. And yeah, just like you could see in the text, that phone call wasn't too fun. It really wasn't, but he did educate me a lot. So it was really great when he got on the phone and he taught me all this stuff that I had to watch out for. And he pretty much told me exactly how to avoid this mistake again. Really cool guy for that. So now, where did I get this product from? Boom, 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 you guessed it, AliExpress. But don't worry too much because there's ways around this to making the same mistake I did. After you go through my video on how to find trustworthy suppliers on AliExpress, and you find a great supplier, all you have to do is this. Find a product from the supplier catalog that you want to sell and then ask your supplier if this product is patented by any companies and ask if all the pictures they're using for the product are commercially usable. Now you'll either get a yes or a no. And if the product is patented, move on to the next product and sell that. If the product isn't patented, but the pictures are copyrighted, you want to order that product to your home address yourself and take your own content. This way you'll be selling unique content. You won't be using someone's copyrighted pictures. And then you'll avoid all sorts of legal trouble, lawsuits, cease and desist letters. And hopefully you could keep your sales and your business running instead of losing $2,000 a day in sales, just like I did. Learn from my mistakes. Don't go through them. That's what I'm here for. And I just opened up my Lord's program, which is a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me and it is officially full but still hit me up if you're getting numbers and want to scale your brand when a spot opens up i'll be sure to hit you up so send me a dm a facebook message or an email and i'll put you on that wait list if you entered my giveaway in the last video the absolute last winner for the free business consulting call is IBM RKS. Boop, boop, boop. 
congrats, bro. Hit me up on Instagram and we'll get on that one on one business consulting call. And yes, I did say the last winner for the free one on one business consulting call. So once again, congratulations. And I'm really going to drop a lot of value on this call, bro. Subscribe and drop a like on this video if it helped you out in any way. And now you know how to avoid selling patented products and how to avoid selling copyrighted photos on Facebook, Instagram, and for your ads. And if you love this value, join the family because I teach you how to make more money and run your business the right way every two weeks. But yo, I'll catch you in the next one. I love you guys. Stay beast, my lords. Peace.